Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, International Master Benny Chang, and I'm going to be doing another five minute commentary game today. It's going to be uh, Kebab and Lakianov. I'm not sure who Lakianov is, but Kebab's a fr friend of mine, and uh, I've been watching his games recently. So, this is a uh, Queen's Gambit co composition. Apparently, this composition is but equal because uh, Blackberry has trade off his bad bishop for white's good bishop. So, normally, what usually happens is uh, most games just trade off into a draw. But white did castle queenside, and there is some potential for some offside side castling attacks. Um, well, most likely what's going to happen now is, let's say he takes on e7, and he's just going to play h4, h5. But fortunately, the queen, um, the queen's of castling is actually kind of tough for for white because f2 pawns a. So he has to waste, waste tempo with that uh, move. And this will really give black a lot more time to... You know, do whatever he wants to do. So one of the problems with uh, this kind of setup is that Black has wise play three. This is another waste of move because after wasting two moves here, it gives Black an extra move to you know, launch his queenside attack. And b5, b4 is now going to be even stronger because you're going to trade off uh, some pawns on the queenside, make white's king uh, more exposed. And that's really going to be a problem. But uh, right now, I think that most likely what Black should go for is just something like rook c8. And just prepare to take on c3 and play c5. I think that will probably be the best move right now. Um, maybe he can even play b5 right away. I mean, b5, b4, it looks looks very strong. Um, looks kind of difficult to stop. But fortunately, right now, I think b5 falls to knight 6, e4, pawn 6, e4, knight e5. And this is um, a bit more difficult, I guess, for black to do here because he does have knight 6, c6, and d5. Uh, and it works. So yeah, rook c8 and king b1. So pretty much what White's saying is, if you take on c3, I take back take back on c3 with my queen or with the pawn. Um, this is a free pawn though. So yeah, I mean that was not the right decision, I would say. Um, yeah, that that was not quite so good. It's <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I, I don't know what to do now here because White's just pretty much down pawn. Did he just get take back? So he's got take back. Oh, my mouse slip. He's got take back. Okay, so I mean, Lucky on was very nice there. He uh, gave him take back. He had pretty much a one position, but you know, he allowed him to take back his moves. So I mean, now we have a queen e5 move. In this move, if if Black decides to trade, this will leave White with a very good endgame because his pawn d5 is very weak, and it'll be very difficult for Black to really attack White here. And I guess they are going for the endgame. Um, I definitely would not have you know, thought that this was a good idea, but fortunately d5 pawn is weak. It was hanging, so there's nothing much they can do there. Um, but here, white's going to have a very easy game. I think rook takes d5, or is it d5 rook takes e5, and knight d2 is a fork. So unfortunately, he can't do that. But now, knight d3 to knight f4 is probably going to be the move that's going to be played next. And the move that I'm thinking that Black's in play just is going to be d4. At least try to, you know, give White a weakness on d4. And it'll be kind of tough to defend this pawn for the next little while, just because there are some tactical threats that Black has here. But unfortunately, if he just defends with like knight f6 or rook d8, I mean, this is not going to turn out too well, because I think a knight f4 is probably just going to uh, force the win of a pawn after knight f6, just rook d3 and rook d1. Just double up, and this pawn d5 can't really be protected. Uh, lots of lines will, sh like lots of lines will show that um, black really has nothing to do here. So unfortunately, uh, keep colors here. Okay. So fortunately, I'm not sure what uh, black's doing here. He has going to have six, and in some cases, he might go to g4 in the future, try to get one of these pawns off. But uh, right now, he's not really doing too well. Probably shouldn't have given that uh, take back. Earlier, he could have won a really easy game, just being up a pawn with, with still the attack. So, uh, you know, I guess sometimes you pay for your kindness. You know, it sucks, but it, it happens. So, Rook d4, the idea is he's going to keep his knight e4 to pressure on f2. But uh, this is going to create some more weaknesses, and I'm not too sure about this idea here. Uh, I, know, I think what he wants to do is he wants to play uh, knight d3, but unfortunately, knight d2 is, is hanging, uh, and that would just win. But uh, here, white has knight c3 here, and uh, this will pretty much force um, black to really trade more pieces off. I, I think that knight c3 is unstoppable. Um, so here I think f3 is probably fine. f3, knight f6, and if he 
may, may weakness. Okay, that's good. So that's actually really good for, for Black. Because now e3 pawns are hanging in pretty much all the lines. He has to play e4 anyway, but after e4, uh, rook e8, move, moving itself from the pin, and also pin the now e2, that, that will be about equal. Maybe Black and White should be better there. So unfortunately, I think Black White really has to just uh, you know, leave this pawn e3 and gonna have trade up pieces. This is most likely going to be drawn endgame. Um, let's see how, how this turns out to be. Rook takes d5, next d5, take, take, and let's say h6. And uh, most players just uh, offer except the draw right about here. But uh, I think that there are some chances for white to go for the queen side with rook d7, going for these pawns. But he's going to have to stack some of these pawns off, so this is going to be a base race kind of thing. So I guess we'll see what happens in this case. Uh, rook e2, I would say takes takes, 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 and um, I guess we'll see which pawn move faster. This is actually um, pretty tough for both sides to go into, especially the side with less time because this is all by calculation. When you get to endgame like this with uh, Rook on other side, 3v3, but pawns are opposite sides, this is all by calculation. If he doesn't have enough time to calculate, then he's probably going to lose the game. Um, probably give him another check, but really at this point in time, Black has to play for a draw. And uh, unfortunately, um, I mean, White's not going to give him a draw. He has so much more time than him, and he's going to move his king out, even if it means giving him rook b2, which I'm not too sure I agree with. But uh, I mean, rook c3, rook h3, that was the threat. But here, I'm um, not too sure exactly what White's plan is here. He has to play b5. But every time he plays b5, he has to play rook b2, and this is going to be kind of tough for white to maneuver because um i mean these pawns are going really fast and this at this point in time i'm not quite sure exactly how this is going to work here so this pawn is pretty much just going to go all the way down um i think i think uh if white spent a bit more time he would have found the best way to continue this this line because he, he has a lot of time so i'm not sure why he's he's uh, moving so quickly I, I think he made a few inaccurate moves here i'm not sure if uh moving his you know Rook here is such a good idea to rook a5, king e3. I mean, this took, took a bit of time, um, but here he's gonna give him the two connected pass pawns. So, um, okay, yeah, so, um, wow, what can I say? Um, this pawn's in the queen, f4, yeah, so f4 is not a good move. Um, okay, six, king g7, um, hmm. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be that favorable here. Which g4, f5, king here, kf3. I guess he's gonna pretty much just try to. Uh, fortunately, kf2 doesn't even work because of uh, rook h3. So he's gonna pretty much not trade his rook. So white's gonna flag block, and that's pretty much a display of. Uh, in-game play there. Uh, that, that was actually really nicely done by Black. Just uh, give him a couple checks. His Black really didn't let him lose there. Got his king out and then he just pushed his pawns and I think White should have just thought about a bit more and he could have done better. But unfortunately uh, that was not meant to be. And he got his rook. So that's definitely not good. So I think yeah, so that's, that's me. Yeah, okay. So I mean that, that was the game. Um, it's kind of fortunate ending. A yeah, lot, lot of time. Could have definitely spent it better. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.